morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, YouTube viewers. Good morning, Facebook Nation. Good morning to all people, all people all around the world, all around the country, all races, all languages. Good morning, because we are humans. We are all one people, no matter what. It's something that we can't take away. Um, beautiful day, you know, got through the storm, prayers out to the people, you know, across the, you know, down, uh, down throughout the south that went through those uh, bad storms. Um, our hearts go out to you. Um, today is a beautiful day. The sun came out, started out a little slow, but every day the sun comes out. Whether you see the sun or not, the sun is still there, and that's what tells us about what reality really is. So today's topic, before we start, click, like, subscribe, share, go through the playlist, and as you notice, the videos are coming less and less, but the videos are still there. As I said, I'm going to put out what a person can use and what a person can uh, reevaluate a situation within one person's life in order to, you know, look at it in a different light. Not to say that this, this channel is here to change you as a person, but it's just to give you another way of looking at things. And then you, the viewer, have to make your own determination of how to apply these things in your life. So, good morning, good morning. So if you don't see the, the videos, you know, always check, and that's why it's a good reason to subscribe, because I'm not going to be like uh, people that, you know, not all, because as I said, you know, I've, I've run into a couple, actually one, who wants nothing from a channel, is not doing it to, for a financial gain. But the knowledge that he gives, he has one channel for uh, sports and then another channel he has for, you know, knowledge. And it's almost weird, and I'm going to explain this, because the sports channel is thousands, thousands of viewers on that sports channel, which grants him, you know, a compensation, even though that's not what he's into, not what he wants. Um, however, the educational channel, he's got the same amount of viewers as I do, the same amount of viewers. So it goes to say that people want to look away from them, their lives, but when you show a person what their life can be and what their life is uh, at the time and the things that are going on at this point, I should say, and the things that are going on around them, they, most people won't look. So this is what today's topic is. It's going to motivate you to see things for what they are because if you see things, you can change things. And you can change your surroundings. And this is what my channel is all about. By changing yourself, you change your surroundings. You change the people that you interact with and how you're treated and how you're respected. So um, today's topic is are we all to blame? The answer might surprise you. So, today's quote, I want to try to start adding more quotes because people ahead of us were saying the same things that are going on now. And we're like these rocket scientists that think, oh, they didn't know what they were talking about. If they didn't know what they were talking about, I would put it to you like this. If humankind was wiped off the earth right now, what would be the only structures right now that would be standing? The ancient, the, the, the pyramids, the ancient uh, blocks under, you know, that, that were built thousands of years ago that man today can't even duplicate. They don't even have cranes to move them. Those things will still be here. So when we talk about intelligence, stop it. Stop it. Because we have to learn, and if we're going to learn, we have to be serious about ourselves. We have to say, hey, we don't know it all. And that's the hard thing with most people. So this is why this channel is here to say, hey, you know, we can motivate one another. So this is going to be motivation for us today. And I want to start this quote because it's fitting with the topic. And this topic today is going to blow your mind because it's going to show you something that you see all the time in your life, in your social circles, in your families, anywhere that you are. And you never thought about looking at things. So today, you know, be beware and, and follow through with this. So the quote is, if you live in fear of what might go wrong, 
you will end up doing nothing. And that's from the writers of the uh, Skyrim that uh, came out with a video game. And that's another thing, another topic for another time that, you know, the, the things that they're writing for these kids out here today is far more advanced than any of us adults right now. So we need to go back and, you know, to, to learn. And there's a, uh, there's a passage that in religion, it says uh, the wisest person on the earth was supposedly Solomon. And he wrote, go back to the end. Or no, that was Paul. To, to go back from the go back to the ant. We're giants. We can crush an ant. So why do we have to lower our, our expectations to say that it's going to be a challenge to kill this ant? It's not. It's just that the ants, their system works, and they will be here long after humans are gone. So you know, it goes to say, learn from what has survived, and that's the point of this. This I think that passage. Learn from what has survived us. So if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you will end up doing nothing. Okay? How fitting a quote, because it questions a person's reality behind a person that we, behind most people that we see today, they wear multiple masks so that you don't even know who they are. And uh, because we're authentic people, you know, it, this passage will also provide us with an, with, with an answer. Are we all to blame? So I don't need a I don't need notes for this one. I'm gonna go in for you. All right. So I want to start out with a story, and this is what I said I want to use real life situations. I did a, a video a while back, and uh, in that video, I explained, you know, hate, and uh, I explained condone. So that's where I want to go. Not so much the topic is hate, but I want to talk about condone because we're going to focus on that. So, if, you know, if you get a chance, go back into the playlist. Now you're going to find out that that video explains exactly what happened and what I'm talking about to you and how we are involved, directly involved in things that happen around us. Okay, so um, a week, two weeks ago, uh, girls high school uh, basketball championship game was played. You can go and you can look it up. Just say the announcer who thought his mic was turned off during a girls basketball game and he was caught saying the n-word. Alright? So now, to get back into it, the announcer uh, they were, you know, they're at a uh, state championship basketball game. Not many, many uh, visitors were allowed into the game. So during the national anthem, high school girls got down on one knee. He thought that his microphone was turned off. He looks over to his the, the other announcer who he's working the game with, and he says, "Those effing ends. I hope they lose." Okay, so now his mic is on. These people hear it. They still play the game, and the girls that he said that to, they ended up winning the state championship. So I guess the karma came back, but, you know, they all heard it. So the announcer, his, his partner, says, I think they heard you. Okay, so I'm going to stop it right there. And the reason I want to stop it right there is because I'm not blaming the person who said effing I hope that they lose because we know that there's evil people. There's evil people that are always around us that have multiple masks. Now, he has children. So, you know, it's almost like sitting back and saying, you know, if someone did that to, to his child, he'd feel a different way. But it's because there's a consensus in hate. So when there's a consensus in hate, it's easy to hate. Uh, a group of people because of it, but we're going to get away from that. We want to stay with the announcer who said, I think they heard you. These are the people with masks. These are the people that you should fear. I respect somebody who is straight. I respect anyone who is straight out racist because I know how you feel. The one that set off to the side, he's the one. He's the one who, 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 who uh, okay, now say uh, uh, 
he want this guy ends up doing the end the announcer who says something like that what if he did something different instead of that what if when they kneeled he did something drastic that partner condoned his actions his partner condoned everything that he was about yet and still he says himself that he himself is not a racist but you are a racist because you did nothing about it you mean to tell me that that's the first time that he heard this no he would have never turned over and said I think they heard you you know we can talk about that out there but you know I think that the mics are they heard you so these are the people that we have to fear and the reason that we have to fear them is because you know when someone sits back and we see that now we'll take another condoning thing we're going to use that same topic the same story but we're going to add a story to it now we want to talk about the mass shootings that took place right now in these massage parlors where this person was able to go from one business to the next business to the next business and just have free reign over taking people's lives and our prayers also go out for it to Asians you know it's a sad ordeal that we're going through but now I think that you know as far as the Asian race now you know what it's like for us living here you know where again a condone thing as long as it's not happening to us we sympathize with you and that's the same thing with the announcer and that's the same thing with different communities that see things happening and yet they do nothing so condone is a fact condone is almost like handing someone bullets and the person has the gun he's telling everyone hey this is what I want to do and I hate this and I hate that and I hate this and I'm a person who's around this person I'm just handing them bullets because technically when these things happen you walk away when these things happen I'll give you a case in point that has to do directly with me and what happened with me and I received repercussions I'm still receiving repercussions from this day but the thing is I'm still here I'm still standing so what it was was a neighbor wanted me to hate another neighbor no reason didn't even know the people but then when I decided to say hey you know look all of you stay away from me both of them hated me and got more people to join in how does that work you know so again we have to see that you know at the end of the day it's what you condone it's what you allow to take place it's what we sit back and say oh you know I really didn't like what that person said but I'm gonna gossip that to my friend and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna hang out with this person no you know we can't do that when when we condone it's almost like handing a person he's that person's running around with a gun and we're handing them bullets because most people only act on what they get support from and I'm gonna use another situation in my life whereas you know I felt a certain kind of way about different subjects that have to do with life and I knew that the, the people around me that were good really really good people but what I noticed was those people pulled away now this isn't now this is when I was younger this is when coming into to the transition of coming into true light and what true light is all about so um, as I'm you know I'm going to these people and then all of a sudden it's like almost like hey you know how you doing um, uh, it's good to see you a um, matter of fact I gotta go and it's not even hey I'll give you a call later you know what I'm saying it was like so then one day I asked I asked one of my my closest my probably the closest friend because he started to pull back and uh, he said to me he's like you know look you know we grew up together you know he said you know I understand you know your life and how life has, has gone he said but um, he said I don't agree with uh, some of the things that you're saying and you know I'm willing to put our friendship aside because I don't want that you know and I don't want to watch you go in a direction that you can't come back from now that is the most honest thing that a person can turn around and say and that exactly flipped my life it changed my life so it, you know condone condoning things and powers standing for what's right to say hey look I see the good in you you know this is what you should be focused on and 
that's where change begins and that's how we become better people and then I want to give you another situation and this situation is about a Klansman who is no longer a Klansman so let me take that name back a person who belonged to a group and it was a group of people you know who had extreme views so this man when he was interviewed you know he left because they exposed who he was someone you know went online exposed who he was and showed his whole family you know so him and his family got out of you know this group but when they first started the interview it took place you know over a month here months of time so what he said when they asked him about why he joined this group he said because all of the illegals that are coming in and you know they're taking our jobs and they're they're doing all of this good that's all I'm fine that's his point of view that's his fact his reality now let's look at the reality after the interviewer said you know I noticed that uh you did some time in prison matter of fact you were in and out of prison you left that part out that's the part you left out that's one of the masks that got pulled off off of the individual and this is what we have to do we have to peel the banana in order to turn around and eat the fruit so he's you know he doesn't want to talk too much about he's like yeah you know I was lost you know I was and he's like um I see you also have you know some alcohol related crimes here too he's like yeah you know at the time I was partying I really didn't have a focus in life and you know I was just you know it was a bad time now his second response to the interviewer the interviewer said well okay with that well you know he said you know so again you know you said that the immigrants were you know taking your job what about you know the fact that you know you were into drugs and and alcohol you were in and out of jail maybe that's why your life took the course that it did he said oh well you know we were looking for housing and we tried to get this and we get this but they'll give it to those people who come in here who had didn't build this country but they won't you know help me and my wife and and our kids again you're lying you're living in an illusion so what I'm saying to you is you know by condoning imagine the person that works with this person you know that that hears that you know not to say that the group that he joined but just say the average person you or I hear in these views and we continue to be around this person and say nothing then again that's like the gun and we're just handing bullets because we condoning it so for him to have made the claims that he made in any situation when you're dealing with somebody who has these you know even when it comes to manipulation and brainwashing it doesn't even have to be just based on the subject of this but the reason I'm using these stories is because I spoke about it months ago I spoke about these things some of these things even last year and these are things that we're seeing right now happen and in full time so now you see that sometimes you can hear something but it doesn't apply to a later date however you get to hear it and know it that it exists so you know when you talk to anyone that that feels in these ways go along for a little while and then you'll hear that they self-sabotage you know their own lives you self-sabotage your own life you know I couldn't be me as a person I could not be of European descent you know why because I'd be one of the most that is the ticket to become the most wealthiest most powerful person in the whole world and with my mentality I know that I would so again I understand the fear from us but we also you know have to hold those people who have those extreme views accountable for their own actions in life that brought about this hatred because these groups are there what is the difference between a gang and these organizations these hate organizations the thing is when you speak to both of them they all have the same story they want to become part of something that that allows them to blame everything else and say yeah you can blame yeah you can hate look at you know we're seeing it 
So I want to leave you with this because, I, again, motivation is to say, hey, we see beyond this stuff now. You know what? I'm good. You have a good day. Um, I want to leave you with this. Even no matter what, where, or how you go back or we go back in history, name a time when there was peace on earth. Wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. And I'll wait. Never. 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 From the earth's creation, if you look in religious terms, Adam, Eve, walked off, uh, supposedly walked off on Adam, was holding conversations with uh, someone that they say that was a snake. But like I said, Eve is not, you know, if Adam is supposed to be the smartest man that ever lived, Eve had to have equal intelligence. Remember, she was the caretaker of the earth. He was the, 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 the farmer, the gatherer for the earth. But she had, you know, knowledge too. They were balanced, yin and yang. So they had equal knowledge. You mean to tell me that a snake could come in here and sit there and say, hey, we're going to do this? No, it was probably an angel. Because remember, it, according to it, you know, he was one of the most beautiful angels. So why, would, if he had the power to still transform himself into an angel of light, why would he be a scaly snake that, that's sitting there to, you know, think about it, prince, uh, the, prince, the princess and the toad? So um, it's never existed because she, they disobeyed from the start. And from there, murder came about with their children. And it's going on until the day. So we're, I do agree with religion when they say that we're fighting against unforeseen forces. Because remember, this is where we rethink things and this is how we reevaluate things. What if the people who created us were immigrants? What if th this is their America? What if they had to come from somewhere else because what they were doing, wherever they were, the, that those people, those, those entities, or uh, the, or race of entities, did not agree, so they came here and did this, and bought the same philosophy here. However, we still have the DNA of good and bad, so we still have that gene. So again, these things become choices, and by taking away the choice to look at bad or to do bad, the choice to stand up to, to what is bad. The choice to not condone what is negative allows us to become light. And again, this is what they always try to take, you know, people try to take away from that. So, you know, every day is a beautiful day. Every day is beautiful. The earth is a beautiful place. It's people who mess all this stuff up. So keep your light. And don't let anyone, you know, come in and, and change your light. You know, stand firm in, in what we have to because, you know, the great war is, is beginning. The great war has begun. And whether we want to see it or not, you know, I said in a uh, last video that every day is, uh, not every day is a bad day. For me, it's not. For you, it's not. For the world, no. The, the evil never stops. It has never stopped. There's never any peace. So that peace begins with us, you know. So I just want to leave us with that because we have the power to, to change. We have the power to continue with life. We have the power to understand and see through every mask because we're authentic. So this is why I say strengthen one another. Authentic people, you know, we need one another. And this is what this channel is all about. So I'm all, always glad that, you know, I can come on here and I can bring you information that you can use so that, you know, when these situations arise in, in your life, you know, you, you can step back and say, oh, okay, now I, now I remember, now I understand what this guy is talking about in his videos, it, you know, he, what he's saying. So, you know, I, I do the same thing when I learn from other people. When I learn things mostly... I learned a lot from my father, you know, things as, as a young kid that, you know, as I got older, they started to click, click, click. But all these things were based on the whole and not just what's what's in front of us. So 
this is where we have to come out of these cocoons. So everyone have an awesome day. Sorry this was a, a longer than uh, usual video, but you know, we need this now, especially with all the things that are going on around us. You know, we have to keep our ears up and we have to be alert because, you know, there's a lot of different things that are going on around us. And, um, you know, we need to be aware of that. So have a beautiful day. Have an awesome day. Glad the sun is out. Nice day. Get ready to go take this walk, get this air, and do a little bit of shopping. So... Have an awesome day. Have a beautiful day. Everyone, peace and blessings.